So guys, welcome back to the channel. And in case you're wondering, this right here is the Soundcore Space One. Now granted, there's a lot of reviews on it, but I happen to find it for $49.99 at my local Raw store. So it's one of the reasons why I'm actually talking to you about this. Regular price is a hundred bucks, but for 50 bucks, it is a obvious steal. So let's talk a little bit specifications right now. You have 40 millimeter drivers. You do have ANC, you have transparency mode, you have wind reduction, which allows you to be able to ride a motorcycle or other things. And when the wind's blowing, they can still hear your audio. So that's a very good thing. You're getting 40 hours of battery life uh, with ANC on and 55 uh, batteries of 55 batteries, <laughs> 55 hours of battery life with ANC off. You do have multi point for the people that want to use it for multiple devices. So there you go. You have high res audio. You also have high res audio for wireless, two different things. A lot of times when you use Bluetooth devices, they tend to not sound as good as corded, obviously for obvious reasons, because it's a direct connection. But technology has gotten so far that, you know, you, you don't really feel a dramatic difference anymore. So anyway, with that being said, jam packed with tons of features. Let's unbox this together and talk about how well they work and are they worth the asking price? Yes, they're worth the asking price. But nevertheless, we still got to go through the whole video. <laughs> Let's get into it. So I'm not even going to waste any time. This is the headset right here. Let me put that down. Now, it does come with a pouch. It does come with the actual 3.5 headphone jack, which goes onto the bottom. And you do have a USB-C to USB-A that also comes with it. So you have everything necessary in order to charge it and keep your product safe. Right here, I'm just gonna flip this over. If you notice this, there's this little symbol right here. Normally it's a little plastic tab in here when you first get it, make sure you tear that off. What this does is it allows you to actually use touch features while you hover your hand on this side, which we'll go over that in the actual application section. Not everyone's going to use it, but it's still nice to have and you know the availability that the technology is there for an affordable price. It says left side and right side right here, as you can see. This is adjustable right here, very easy to use. Doesn't really get stuck at all in my opinion. And I like it, I mean, it's very responsive. Like for instance, if you put this on your head, cheaper headphones with the band might pull out more because the, uh, I'm about to call it elastic. I'm not even sure how to describe that. But anyway, the point is, is that this is very responsive. It's very easy to use. If you pull this back and forth, it's not gonna magically break or fall out or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about lack of quality control. Put it that way. Right here on the right side, make sure I get that correctly, the right side, you actually have the volume up and down right here. You also have the option for pause and play. Now, obviously, if you're a person riding a bike, if you're mobile and you're not able to actually use your hands to pull out your phone every single time or you're wearing gloves or something like that, this is gonna come very, very much in handy. Now on the opposite side, you have the power button right here. You do have the, uh, uh, what's it called? The 3.5 headphone jack right here, including the charger cable all on the left side. It, the left symbol is right there. In addition to that, you have the NC button. Now what this does, is it allows you to change from noise cancellation. It allows you to change from transparency mode. And if you go through the Soundcore application, you can also make it go through normal mode. If you wanna add that too, because you do get full customization over the headset itself. The only downside I can say is that it doesn't look like the cuffs actually come out right here. Let me make sure I'm recording that properly. It doesn't look like the cuffs actually come out. So if you start tearing this up and damaging it nine times out of 10, you're going to probably have to order another headset. So for me, these don't really go outside the house, except for review purposes. I normally clean the house, walk around, listen, play video games, Steam Deck, stuff like that, have phone conversations with these on. And then when I go outside, I take my regular earbuds. So to each their own, it really depends on your personal usage. But with that being said, let's kind of just skip forward to the parts that matter. I wanna show you guys how to sync it. So there's multiple ways to sync these earbuds. If you are a Google user, like let's say you have a Google account, it may pop up on the setting because you already synced it previously or you've had other Soundcore products that it pops up and tries to remember your email. That might happen during this video, so keep that in mind. If it does, I'll just tell you the regular way. So what we do is we're gonna go ahead and power it on. All right, it's powered on. It's gonna go through the process of putting itself in pair mode right now. All I gotta do is swipe down, go to the settings. We're gonna to go to Bluetooth right here, pair new device. Depending on the type of Android you have, it might be a little easier to get to the Bluetooth settings, but for the most part, it's exactly the same. 
you see Soundcore Space right here. You're going to go ahead and tap that. For Apple users, it's automatically going to connect after you tap it. But for Android, you can say access your contacts and call history. The reason why I let it do that is because some earbuds are able to read back notifications. Oh, now it's playing music right now as we speak. And if you see this, it says Soundcore Space One. Now that's connected. It now it remembers my email because I originally had posted it to my email. And if I say yes and save, it's going to remember and set it up as a device. I'm going to do that now. The setup takes you directly to the Soundcore application, which is optional, but it, you should be downloading this. Just keep that in mind. Hopefully you can't hear this because I don't want this video to be uh, demonetized for any reason, but I'm going to go ahead and go to the next section. If you follow these very, very, very simple instructions, this is how you sync your headset. You shouldn't have any problems moving forward. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through the process of using this. So in case you're wondering, I am screenshotting this right now and as we speak. So that's what you're looking at on this side of the screen. I figured this is the easiest way to walk you through the process of the the, the options of Skull Candy. I'm just Skull Candy. Good Lord have mercy. That Soundcore offers. Anyway, this is the main menu right here. Let me just go back one more time. When you first set up your earbuds through Bluetooth. You go ahead, you're going to go ahead and click on whatever device that you're using. Once that happens, this is where all the customization is. So number one, you have normal mode, transparency mode and noise cancellation mode. Now, when you switch between them, you're going to notice that other options are going to pop up while you're looking at this. See that thing called wind noise reduction. What it does is it allows your microphones to be able to get hit with wind. So, for example, I use a scooter to go to work, an electric foldable scooter. It could be 20 degrees outside, 40 degrees, 90 degrees, doesn't really matter. Winds could be blowing. My wife can hear me with these buds on my ear, but I normally use like the smaller earbuds whenever I do that type of thing. And, and it just does a really good job of allowing your voice to stay clear, even in the worst circumstances. This is a feature that I believe that every single device should have. But unfortunately, you know, companies are more concerned about looking aesthetic. Don't get me wrong. Other companies have great sound, but I want the all around package. It's one of the reasons why I stick to Soundcore. Uh, right here, you can actually customize the transparency mode. So you have the option to have having it five levels. I personally leave it alone because I don't use transparency mode. Now, if you're outside and you're not playing any music and you just want to put transparency mode on because you don't want to take the headphones off your ear, you will be able to hear footsteps and conversations like you weren't wearing them at all. And it sounds pretty good and pretty clear. So people will know you have a headset on, but they won't know that you're aware of what's happening around you. So, you know, safety first. I do want to also say that uh, with noise cancellation, you actually have the option for wind reduction. Do apologize if I speak a little bit louder. It's because all the different features are going on in this headset as I'm speaking to you. You have to actively have the headset powered on in order to go through this. So keep that in mind. Now, this one has also customization in the noise cancellation. You have the option for adaptive, which will change along with whatever environments that you're in. Or you have the option between one through five. I normally keep mine at five and I'm able to just drown out a lot of the sound around me. Now, I do want to say that noise cancellation on this headset isn't as strong as it would be on earbuds. And the only reason being is because earbuds go directly in the ear while this headset sits on the outside of the ear. So just keep that in mind. It's the only reason it's not stronger, in my opinion, but it is pretty good, nevertheless. And this also has wind reduction. The only one that doesn't have wind reduction is normal, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. That's not life or death. Use transparency mode with wind reduction or use noise cancellation with wind reduction. And I'm telling you, it's going to make a difference in all of your conversations. Anyway, you have this feature called Easy Chat. And what this does is it enables to, I'm sorry, I'm reading the whole thing, to lower the music volume, move this out of the way, from your device and make your vocals clearer for short conversations. They're referring to conversations with other people. Now, I've tried this. And my wife said I sound clear either way. So I'm not sure who exactly this is for. I would assume if you're recording a conversation, you're on Zoom. Let's say you use these for Skype or FaceTiming or Google Duos or whatever. They change it every year to something else. This will make your voice a little bit clearer than what it already is. But again, it's not a feature that I think many people are going to probably use, especially if you're not really familiar with the uh, the application. Most of the time, you just want to customize a couple of things and probably never use it again. I do that. I'm guilty of that a little bit, but at least the option is here for the person that wants more in-depth analysis and quality of sound. And you do have the option to speak to enable. Now, I didn't really use it like that. I don't care about that type of stuff. You know, it's not for me, but the option is available. Right here, you have sound effects. And like most Soundcore earbuds, you have the option for a custom EQ right here. Now, what I will say is uh, a prompt will pop up right here and tell you, hey, 
actually let me load this a little bit make it look better there we go so a prompt will pop up and let you know that you can if you sign into the soundcore app it'll save your equalizer settings so you don't have to keep doing it every single time you switch a phone or get a new device so just kind of keep that in mind but you can use this application without all of that sign in you can just skip it you have the option for default and then if you click into it you have all of these um what are these called different sound profiles to switch to Personally, I like Sandcore Signature. It's fine the way that it is. I think it goes with majority of music out there, but to each their own. If you don't like it, by all means, switch it. It is your own device. So how you like to hear sound, I can't tell you anything about that. That's to each individual person, but the option is there. Then you have Hear ID Sound, which again, you're gonna have to actually tap this and go through the process of the hearing test and all that in order to set it up. So just kind of keep that in mind after my wife texting me, messing up my video. Thanks, wife. <laughs> Thanks for messing up my video. No, but um, then you have the controls right here where you have uh, single press and double press. Now, normally the press twice is turned off at all times. Um, I actually switched it to bass boost on. Bass boost sounds great to me. Some people might think it's a little bit too much, but because these are, again, over the head headphones, using earbuds and over ears is a dramatic difference. So the bass boost to me feels like regular earbuds that are directly into your ear but again that's just my opinion i turned it on to leave it that way and you also have single presses what this does uh it's normally set to noise cancellation and transparency mode so it's like a button on your headset where you tap it it'll switch between those modes i add it normal in case you know sometimes you don't want to have the suction inside of your ears and sometimes you don't want transparency mode you just want to have it on the normal settings when you're in a quiet environment that doesn't require any extra additives and that's why i turned it on so very simple very easy to use now lastly we got to go up here you have sound mode wearing detection device list auto power i turned that off that's normally on when you first get this headset where if it's not doing anything at all it'll turn off and power off on its own i don't care for that I just leave it off where it'll stay on until I physically power it off or until the headset dies. And I normally just power it off myself. You have voice prompt. I'll get to the other ones in a second. You have the voice prompts right here that'll let you know the battery life and ambient sound to hear voice when switching modes. You could turn that off if you don't want it, but I suggest leaving it on only because if you tap it, you want to make sure you're going through A and C and all this stuff. And if the headset lets you know, then you're guaranteed to know so that you'll know moving forward. Uh, in terms of firmware update, this was already updated the moment I got it outside of the box. So it is what it is. So you don't have to worry about that. But there could be updates in the future. So it's up to you if you want to like sign up for emails or stuff or just periodically check the application and then you'll see it right there. I also want to say that you have the option for a device list. Now, that's very important. That's where dual connection comes from. Now, if for you guys that are wondering, this is connected to the Motorola Edge phone that I'm using review coming on the channel for that, too. And then the Steam Deck itself. You do have the option to tap connect new device. What happens is it'll put the headset in pairing mode immediately, and then you can connect it to another device. That is how you use uh, um, multi-point on this headset. Now, you, I believe you only can switch between two headphones at a time, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you go to the application right here to set which ones you want to be active based on the devices that you use the most, and then you can just seamlessly switch between them whenever you want to. Like for instance, if I'm not doing anything on my phone, and the headset's connected and then I go to my Steam Deck, it will automatically pick up that sound right away. And then when I go right back to my phone, it'll automatically kick back to my phone. And if I pause my phone, it goes right back to the Steam Deck. So it works very, very well. That is something that Soundcore got done correctly because a lot of companies do not have seamless multipoint. Lastly, wearing detection. Ooh, whenever you use, uh, I'm speaking a lot. Whenever you use autoplay or pause, what happens is you have to click into this and it gives you a prompt of what to do. It'll have you lay the headset down, face down. If you press next and try to skip those steps, it knows that it's not laying face down because that's what detection does. So just follow the prompt, it takes like 60 seconds at the most, I'm being generous, in order to go through that process. And then when you put it back on your head, and I'm talking about the full process, it'll calibrate again, and then you're good to go. So when you start taking your headset off or putting it back on, that's when it will pause music or play music. But it really depends on the application that you're using. So just kind of keep that in mind. Third party apps don't work as well when it comes to music. But, you know, if you're an Apple device, Samsung Music, things like that, it should work perfectly fine. And then lastly, you have sound mode, which you have when uh, I'm going to read this for you. Preferred audio quality, LDAC, L LDAC codec is enabled. It will increase power consumption. You may occasionally experience connection instability in some environments. So when I mean some environments, 
there are times where I go downtown and I'm at 15th, 16th and JFK for people that are in Philadelphia that know where the area is. And sometimes my headset disconnects or one ear goes in and out with regular earbuds, not these. You may experience uh, connectivity issues when you change the codex or whatever uh, the quality of music. I leave it alone. I leave it where it says combine audio and quality so that it just does it on its own without me manually have to do anything. Now, all these options is for that person that has to have a certain sound that they want. But for the average consumer, and this is what these videos are normally for, very easy to use. If you go through the application itself, to be honest, you don't even need my senses to walk you through this. But I do believe that it's necessary, at least first time, to know that all these features are free. You don't have to sign up for anything. Just download the Soundcore application and it should work immediately. So just keep that in mind when moving forward or buying Soundcore products. So we have two things to talk about right now. The first one's going to be gaming. The second one's going to be music. And they do coincide with one another because it's necessary. A lot of the times when you're using this headset, the features or the settings that you have on a headset is probably going to be exactly the same if you're listening to music or playing a game. So let's talk about that right now. Let's get gaming out of the way first. When it comes to games, you see Call of Duty Mobile over here. Uh, it ran very smoothly, even with lower end devices. I'm currently using a Motorola Edge 2024 for this uh, to test this headset. And I did the gaming test with it because a lot of times headphones suffer because of the hardware itself or whatever it is that you're using. And, you know, this isn't a high end phone, but it works very, very well. The quality of sound, the explosions, the, the uh, you know, the, when you hear the footsteps and things like that, all the noise. And let's not forget voice chat. A lot of times I never voice chat on games like that because I don't want to talk to people. I just want to be by myself and just see them run ahead, get shot. So I know the trajectory or where the bullets are coming from so I can get the kill. But outside of that, um, no, I turn on the voice chat. It sounds very clear. It sounds very good. I don't have any issues with it in terms of gaming whatsoever. The only time I had a hiccup was uh was when I was playing with my Steam Deck where I turned the Steam Deck on and then switched over to the Steam Deck and I forgot that I was still connected to the phone and I was doing multiple things at the same time. And so it kind of switched back and forth when one paused the music, it would switch to the other. So I just had to kind of readjust for that. But outside of that, works perfectly fine. Now, if we're talking about the music quality, it does suffer just a tad bit, but let me explain. It's not, the quality isn't bad. The voices are very loud. The uh, instruments, the things going on in the background, everything is very, very loud. If you have its own bass boost, I, it does sound like, more like the traditional Soundcore signature sound. But again, you, I, it's hard for me not to compare earbuds that go directly to the ears with over the head. It's like a different realm of music when you do either or. Headphones, in my opinion, are better to be immersed, especially with like spatial audio and things like that if, if headphones offer it. While earbuds are better for just, you know, personal usage where they don't really have the level of connectivity, something like this would, the st stability. Some do, some don't. But music sounds good. Uh, I do feel like the bass is a little lower than what it needs to be with the traditional, um, what's it called? The signature sound application. But remember, you have the option of actually changing the equalizer itself. So when you change the equalizer, it's not just music, it's not just videos, it affects your phone calls, it affects your overall health of the device itself. And it I don't have any problems. So now remember, I did pay $49.99 for this at a Ross store. Who wouldn't buy this for $50? It's a good headset. The original price is $100 sometimes on sale for a little bit less. Even at that price point, you're having all the features that we talked about, wind reduction. Um, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned that yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to structure the video. Either I'm going to do the uh, the application first or I'll do the sound and stuff first. I don't know. But the point is, all the features will be here with everything that's jam packed in this headset. I can honestly say that it's worth the asking price. But if you can find it even cheaper for like I did for forty nine, absolutely pick yourself up a pair. You're going to love it. I don't have anything bad to say in terms of quality of sound. I don't have anything to bad to say about, you know, connectivity. For the people out there thinking a gaming mode is always necessary for a headset, as long as it's a strong Bluetooth connection, you'll be fine. And these definitely do the job. Play Dead Space. If you play Dead Space Remake, you know all the little subtle sounds and monsters crawling through the vents and all that stuff. I heard everything. I felt super immersed wearing these headphones and I like them a lot.
So this is going to be a little segment for you guys for audio quality. Now, um, I am recording from the actual Space Ones right now. So if you're doing vlogs, if you're doing recordings, uh, phone calls, similar, obviously your network strength matters when it comes to phone calls. And depending on the environment, how much noise that you're actually going to hear. I'm for the most part in a quiet room. Air conditioner is running. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, it's pretty quiet right now. So all I can say is that, you know, if we're talking about look, we're talking about feel, we're talking about just all around how well these work. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I can honestly say that this is a very good headset. Um, for the $50 that I pay for it, it's a phenomenal headset. Even if you paid the 100 bucks, I think that a lot of people, especially with all the features that you're getting jam-packed in this, would definitely like it. And it does help with the audio quality with things like wind reduction, which is very, very important. It's one of the reasons why I stick to Soundcore products, because until someone else can do wind reduction, I can't really, you know, I mean, it's still good, but for my lifestyle with traveling outside and what inclement weather and stuff like that, sometimes I have a helmet on where it covers my ears, so it blocks wind. Other times I just have a regular biker helmet on, and with all that wind blowing, a lot of times you can't hear anything. But the audio on this is very, very clear. So we can talk about microphones and all that other stuff, but I think a segment is more important so you can actually hear it yourself and determine whether it's good instead of just blindly believing whoever it is that you're following on YouTube. Also, I do want to add, make sure that you look at other reviews because even though I'm reviewing it now in 2024, there are other people that go in depth with the Codex, LDAC, and things like that. I'm more so for the average everyday person, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll be talking about the conclusion of this product now. So let's talk about the fit and the feel of the earbuds and earbuds. So used to reviewing earbuds that my words all jumbled. Headset on my head that I'm currently wearing and still got the words wrong. I can honestly say that this headset is very, very comfortable. It's not, it's rare for me to have a headset that feels uncomfortable that's over the head. If you're noticing, these are very big cuffs, as you can see. So it fits directly in the ear just fine. I don't have a problem with them whatsoever. For the person out there that was wondering, I know it's upside down, but you can still see the L and you can see the R. So let me kind of switch it around so it's easier for you guys to see. And so I don't have an issue with it. I can wear these for hours upon hours upon hours at a time, and I have no ear fatigue whatsoever. Now, the only negative, and this is very short negative, I can say about the comfortability of this headset is that if you're outside and you're sweating or you're using these for exercise, <laughs> you're going to feel disgusting. <laughs> with the sweat dripping down your ear like there's nothing you can do about it. that that's just natural so i'm sorry i'm just laughing because i was walking outside with these while it's warm jogging you know i'm sitting in a hot room and i started sweating and dripping i'm just like Ugh, it felt nasty right but i didn't want to take the earbuds off of my ear because once you place it back on you have that nasty uh, dewy feeling so I just left it on I said let me just sweat and see how this feels I'm exercising I'm cleaning I'm vacuuming I'm doing all these things and I just noticed that you know they don't slip off the ear wherever you place them they sit comfortably inside of your ears I'm not going to say it fits all ear shapes because some of y'all out here looking like Spock but <laughs> I'm joking I'm just being silly but outside of that it should fit majority of ear shapes and whatnot so in terms of comfort like I said fits good feels good it, it doesn't feel sore stretchable very look at this look at this very stretch hit my mic very very stretchable so you know it fits all types of head shapes without any issues whatsoever the downside is i don't think that you have any type of cuff replacements for the person that might use it so much that it starts tearing and wearing and tearing but as long as you wipe it down you know with a nice little cloth wipe it down and keep it uh, in some decent temperatures, this could probably be a headset that lasts you for many, many years. Not everyone wants to keep buying headsets. I do that because I'm a psycho and I love reviewing products, but for everyone else, you just want to buy one thing and it works well. And like I said before, um, if you're looking over here, you see the pictures of the side of my face and the, the profile of how it looks. Nothing bad to say about the fit and feel whatsoever. It's wonderful. So to answer the question whether these are actually worth the asking price, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Even at $100, I think these are very good headphones. You might be able to find something that may have a better battery life than this for $100. Bucks. Not, I'm sorry, not battery life. It might have a better uh, quality of sound slightly. But when you look at the overall package, you got to think about what it is that you're getting. 
do you prioritize mic quality? Do you prioritize being able to use it in inclement weather where wind is blowing, where people can still hear you instead of having to switch over and use your actual microphone from your phone? It really depends on your lifestyle. It's one of the reasons why I like sound cords. Now I happen to find it for, like I said, $49.99. I am gonna put a link in the description. Hopefully it's on sale because I'm gonna look on Amazon and kind of just pull up like an editor's choice link so you guys can do more research on it or find a way in order to buy it. I don't make a dollar from any of those sales, nor am I trying to. I just enjoy reviewing tech in general. And again, so let's go over a little bit. 40 hours of battery life with ANC on, 55 with it off, noise cancellation, transparency mode, adjustable transparency, adjustable noise cancellation, wind reduction, so you can be able to talk in the worst conditions outside with just a lot of stuff going on in your background. It does a really good job of isolating noise in general. You have multi-point. You have in-ear detection where you take the buds off, they pause. When you put it back on your head, it, it uh, resumes music, and that does work. I try it all the time myself. It just has all the features that are necessary for a quality headset. You have high-res audio, high-res audio even with wireless because the wires may sound a little bit different than wired, but the point is that it's both high quality. You have custom EQs. You have everything that's necessary jam-packed in one headset for an affordable price. And I just want you guys to compare this to Skull Candy. I want you to compare it to other brands and see how it works. Honestly, the only other brand that I saw that made headphones that are good in terms of audio quality that's reasonably priced is probably Soundpeats, the ones that I reviewed on my channel uh, probably about a month ago or however long that was. That's a rival company in my opinion. Everybody else is just, I don't know. I just feel like they're not really trying anymore. But anyway, like and subscribe like always, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Wait, wait, hold on. Peace. There you go. Now you can see the fingers. <laughs>